This year, for 2022, for the Willie's Rally, I decided to make a roll bar for Slumdog using an eco-friendly bending machine powered by the sun. I wanted to make a stealth roll bar that would tuck nicely under my half top, using the kiss theory. Got my bends the way I wanted them, got my crossbars tacked in, then I welded it all up in place. Just installed some new shackles on my Jeep. These were the ones that were on it. These are the old World War II kind. Uh, these, these things are mangled, all bent up. That's how it should look. That was on the other side. These things tore up. This in Colorado, I hit a rock up here. And it mangled, bent my shackle, or bent my, cracked the frame here. I banged it with a big hammer, got it with my calibrated eyeball, and it's straight. Now I'm gonna weld it up. I'm gonna put a plate here, so it'll be nice and strong, up here. I'm gonna put a plate up here, be nice and strong. It's plate in there, should hold it pretty good. Uh, weld it up the crack right there, and then uh, should be fine now. We'll see. <laughs> so, gonna clean these up, throw some rattle can on them, and replace them. Those old World War II ones, they are not very strong. They're strong enough, but not for Moab. Got done doing it with my roll bar. What a joy it was to actually try to weld on some really good metal. I am always welding up on uh, on really rusty stuff and it always popping and cracking and popping, but I was able to, it was really joy. A joy to weld up on this nice brand new metal. The joints fitted. Just cleaning off the, the crap that's on here with some acetone. Yeah. Gonna start spray painting it with some OD. Put it back on there and we should be ready. We should be ready for Moab. Build the sucker to protect my grapes. I'll smash it over there. <laughs> yeah, I got lockers on slum dog. Fixed the back end of the leaf springs, they're bent up. I fixed those. I gotta take off those uh, bumperettes though, because those guys took some damage last time. So I'm gonna take those off and uh, paint and remount that roll bar I just made up and uh, clean this guy up, oil change, and ready to go.
shirt. Good. What else we got? Nice logo on the front. So you guys are really catalog. Terraflex stickers. Oh, a nice mug. I definitely need that. Yeah, old wheelie sticker. Mine's falling off on my Jeep, so I might replace it with this. Or I might just put this on my on my, on my new coffee mug here. Some more stickers. We're looking outdoors. Nice little keychain. And for your brewskies. That's it, nice little gift bag that we checked in. Yeah, so glad you guys made it. I know you're all hungry, I am. It's 5.30 and these guys are ready. So let's get everybody fed and then we'll talk to you more later. Oh, you see that. Yeah, that's awesome. My dad bought the 57. It was down here in the uranium mines. Uh -huh. for three years wow. and he bought it in 90, 61 or 2 and he put a few of the agents didn't have enough power and he ran it we checked in had a good dinner had fun walked around and said hello to all the fellow jeepers after it got late we slept well got up the next morning excited for the jeeps and coffee in the main lawn couldn't wait to check out all those beautiful rigs that were ready for the Moab trails All right, we're here with David at the Willys Rally, and he's gonna show us around his Jeep. All right, well, I mean, it's a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, nothing, nothing too special. I mean, I got, got these really weird, cool Huffman hubs on it. That's a, kind of a special feature, I guess, a little different. So those ones, to, to lock them in and out, you gotta kick it off. And you got a gear inside that you flip around to lock it or unlock it. That's kind of different. I'll do the lap wow. And then everything else, just kind of your typical Jeep stuff, just rusty and beat up and it's beautiful. Works. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got this good set of mismatched gauges, some different dash stuff, you know, nothing. Some custom ripped seats. I mean, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly how we like them. Yep. Sitting on wood. <laughs> Beautiful. I yep. love it. Yep. <laughs> on the back, mine was a farm Jeep at one point in time, so it's got a PTO on it. Sweet. And anything else? What year is it? 48. 48. 48. That's the same as mine. Same yep. as Slumdog. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. right Very on. Very cool. 
Are you get a Krieger hub? Yeah. <laughs> 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 gotta, that's gotta, awesome. gotta class it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's gotta beautiful. Class it up. <laughs> <laughs> Bring up the value there. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> How many times you been been over here at the Willie's Rally? I think this is my third or fourth time now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah I met you last time. year. I, I yeah. absolutely loved your Jeep. Yeah. Yeah, heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's check out the All engine. Right. This is the best part of the whole, <laughs> whole Jeep is right there. So I had, a, I had an old sign painter that lived in my town custom paint this for me. He just does it all freehand and tra actually traded him some work for it is what I did. But Oh, he, sweet. Uh, and you're, you're an engine builder, right? Mechanic, but Mechanic, yeah, build yeah. engines, do all that stuff, uh -huh. yeah, for sure. So, wow, created some work on his Corvette for it. So, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And then, yeah, this engine, yeah, I just got it rebuilt. This is the second year I've been out here with it rebuilt. First couple years I came down, it was using more oil than fuel, but uh -huh. you know. but other than that, yeah, it's just the old Sweet. flathead four cylinder. I like your battery, yeah, yeah. Only came out once and fried itself, but oh yeah, <laughs> just strap uh -huh. it down a little better this time. <laughs> wow, and, that's cool. Yeah, works pretty good. Works pretty good. Nice. It's stock four cylinder L. Yep, still have L one thirty four, huh? Nothing special. Yep. Nothing special. Just you didn't upgrade anything else. You even got the well. I mean. I bored it out a lot bigger and cut the headway down so get a little more compression. But oh, okay, cool. So a little bit, but nothing. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too wild. Uh huh. When you got this engine, was it all jacked up? Or it was, you know, actually. So the original engine that was in this, I've got it sitting on the floor of my shop. Uh -huh. This is one I snagged off a buddy that he just had laying around. Oh, uh, okay. And this engine wasn't too bad. It had already been overhauled once before, so we had to bore it like way over. It's got 60,000 uh, solar pistons in it and stuff, uh -huh. which is good, but it, heat heat is an issue. So uh -huh. that's why we're back to an aluminum radiator instead of the original one. Yeah. Because it wasn't quite keeping up. Yeah. <laughs> it's always get, I was always getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always an issue in our, our little flat fenders. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's always getting heat out of these things, man. Absolutely. Always yeah. over here. Right on, man. <laughs> All right, David, thanks for showing us. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> you bet. Way cool. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Oscar. He's all the way from Costa Rica. How you doing, Oscar? Very well. All right. He came over here to do the Reelys Rally with us. Thank you for coming. <laughs> all right, man. favorite truck. You know why? Because it's got the Buick V6. <laughs> Beautiful. Show us uh, the FC 170. This is a 1961 FC 170. Uh -huh. Do you know much about FCs? I don't actually. We made them for 57 to 63. Uh -huh. And you might see one titled 64, 65. But that was in general when they built them. Oh, okay. And there's two models FC 150, one FC 170. FC 150s are basically a CJ5 with a cab on it. And then they redesigned them and then made a wide track where the springs are outboard of the frame, just like all FC-170s. And all FC-150s have a four-cylinder, the F-head, just like a CJ-5. And of course, they didn't have the V6 until 65, so all FCs have only one option on their engines. What FC-150s had a F-head four, and all FC-170s have a L6226, just like a station wagon or pickup. So there was no engine options. Oh, now you okay. could get an optional four-speed T98 uh -huh. like any Jeep. Uh -huh. They're pretty rare. Usually businesses or governments had four-speeds 
It's really rare to see a FC-150 with a four-speed, but they're out there. Uh -huh. So basically, it's got a 103 and 5 8 wheelbase, just like a station wagon's 104. So they're really similar to a station wagon, a little bit wider, uh -huh. and with the same running gear, T90 transmissions in general. Does it ride smooth? I like the FC-170s better than the FC-150s off-road. The 150s are a little bit shorter yeah, wheelbase? I, I, I've had FC-150s with a short wheelbase. Oh, and okay. They're, they're pretty rough to ride off-road. Uh -huh. These actually ride really good off-road. Oh, you bounce okay. a lot, uh -huh. but it's not uncomfortable. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, uh, I really like my FC-170. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I love it. What else can I tell you about them? That's, that's in general, like, off the top of my head. Can you show us inside? Well, it's kind of messy inside. Uh, that's... Uh, that's perfect. So that's the way the dashboard is. Same speedometer as any Jeep of that era. Uh -huh. Heater's right in the middle. The visibility is great on these. I love yeah. pulling up to an intersection. Yeah, huh? you can you're, see you're everything. You're forward and you're up higher than all the bushes or parked cars. You can see, yeah. see pulling out in an intersection <laughs> in town. Accessibility of the inch is pretty good, huh? Yeah, uh, let me... Um, I thought it'd be harder. Yeah, it looks like you're able to get in there pretty good. Things ready for the trip. Uh -huh. things. It doesn't do any good opening the hood in it uh -huh. at, at a, a, sh a get-together oh. because you got to open the doors to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. And you could, you could access mm -hmm. the the engine in that small cover to it up also. So if you want to tune it up, there it is. Uh, it's, it's all right there. It has, there's the air cleaner and there's the sur uh, surge tank for the radiator. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all up in there, huh? Where's the radiator? Up in the front, of course, right? Yep, in the front, of course, yeah. <laughs> How do you access the radiator? Uh, with the... Uh, with the with the larger hatch oh that, okay that you unscrew oh if you i need see. to get to the radiator but uh -huh. you don't need to service it uh-huh um except for through the surge tank oh i see let's make sure everything's full from there huh seven and a half seven and a half by 16s yeah these are 750 16 tires which is what they came from the factory. Mm -hmm. FC-150s had 15-inch wheels mm -hmm. and 170s had 16-inch wheels. Look, see the springs are outboard of the frame on all 170s. Yeah. There's a narrow track FC-150 and a wide track FC-150 and that's the difference. Oh, is, okay. Is the frame and how the springs are mounted yeah. to the frame. And that's stock, huh? Yes, that's that's kind of stock? Yeah, wow. This, is 100, this, this particular FC is 100% stock. Well, that's amazing. You don't see them completely untouched anymore. Well, that's why I love this one. It uh -huh. all around. I bought this from the original owner's son. Oh. Then the son went hunting. Y'all grew up hunting in it and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's got a pretty long pretty um, long bed in here. That's what's interesting about FC-170s. It's, uh -huh. it's a nine-foot bed. That's wow. Part of the sell, selling point is that the uh, bed... It, is longer than the wheelbase. Uh -huh. So that's that's what's interesting about these. Yeah, amazing. All Any right, Steve. That's it. it. Thank you for Thank showing you it. Me. Thank you. <laughs> How is everybody? Good. Excellent. You got coffee in you? Yeah. All right. Are we going to be excitable today? Yeah. 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 <laughs>
Casey lent us up Gemini Bridges Main Trail. It's kind of the main street in this area. It feeds many other trails. Casey picked an easy one with beautiful scenery so that all of us could enjoy it. to the halfway point on top of a beautiful bluff where we stopped to have lunch. After lunch, Casey got us all turned around and headed back down the trail to the start point. A couple of us are gonna pop by. What's it called again, Samantha? Well, there, something, something. <laughs> yeah, we're going a different, a different route. All right, a couple of us are breaking off, and we're gonna go to the Gold Bar Rim. A few of us were hungry for a hard trail, so we broke off from the main group and headed for the Gold Bar Rim Trail. <laughs> 